It is the day that you've long awaited. We're straightening it. We're straightening it. This is just me brushing my hair. Just me brushing my hair before straightening it. Straightening it is going to be in the next video because way, way too long of it together. This is just me brushing my shit ton of hair and seeing how poofy it gets. So enjoy. Right now, I'm just gonna detangle it with this heat protectant spray. It's this. I got it at Walmart, so it's accessible. It was cruelty free and it's gluten free and all these things. I was thinking it was like $11. Anyway, accessible, we love to see it. That's the first hair product I brought, bought in years, bro. Because I don't style my hair, as y'all know. I also haven't brushed my hair with like a hairbrush like this in a long time. I detangle my hair in the shower, but I haven't brushed it like dry with a hairbrush in a long time. Sorry, I'm looking at my watch because it shows me if I'm in the frame or not. Hopefully this doesn't smell bad. Oh wow, that was a lot of spray. Oh wow, okay. Why is that not? <laughs> Why is it like a jet stream, bro? Okay, it doesn't smell bad. Why is it like that? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna brush it through then, I guess. Okay, I put much more of my hair is gonna be wet, so. Also, traveling tip, just ease of life tip. Put your hair elastics or your scrunchies around your hair brush, and then if you ever go somewhere, even if it's just like a sleepover, you've got all of your hair elastics with you. So this is the before of the hair. And then we're gonna brush it and see how poofy it gets. Can you tell which side I did? Just a little bit of. Can you tell? Perhaps this one? Perhaps? Just perhaps. Does anyone else just like constantly have chaperone playing in their head or is that just me? Um, when you do brush your hair, brush it from the bottom up so you're not like brushing every tangle from the top to the bottom and then like getting stuck at the bottom. Just like work your way up. Oh, another thing too. I do need to get my ends off. I know that. And I'm really bad at going to the hairdresser. Like, and I've grown my hair for 10 years and I've gotten trims, I think, twice. Um, like, really bad at going to the hairdresser. It's also expensive. Also, like, if your hair's long past a certain point, it's just long and longer. So, anyway, I know my ends are thin. Also, I lost probably, definitely a third, if not close to half of my hair, like, thickness or, like, really just hair falling out in the last year due to extreme rare health problems. So, like, last year at this time, my ends were not this thin. And hair is a large part of people's identity, and if you're gonna like scream at the people who want length but their ends are thin, like again, it doesn't matter. People walk around with hair so bleached that it's crispy, and they're allowed to do that. And no one, well, I'm not gonna say no one says anything, but people are allowed to do that, and people don't generally care. But you see someone with long hair, and like their ends are thinner or see through or whatever, and people get all up in arms about someone else's hair. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's just none of your business and it doesn't matter like they're literally not hurting anybody and you're just over here being a menace for what for what reason for no reason for bad reasons because you're bored because you're unhappy with your own life like i don't know like yeah i need to get my ends off i might since we're straightening it i might chop the ends off today because then i can like see how straight it is and get it like all even but i hate having layers in my hair before y'all comment i hate having layers in my hair in a curly cut no, I hate it. I absolutely despise having layers in my hair. I love having my hair one length. I will never go back to layers. I shouldn't say that. People can change. But for right now, I absolutely hate having layers in my hair. I hate when you braid it and the little pokey things stick out. I hate, I hate all of it. Your hair would be so much better if you styled it and did a curly cut. Yeah, I don't care. I really don't care. My hair is perfectly fine how it is. Perfectly fine how it is. My whole page is just, frizzy hair is okay. You're allowed to not style your curly hair, folks. You're allowed to just exist how your hair grows from your head, right? Your natural hair is, mm, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? <laughs> this is funny. This is really weird. I haven't brushed my hair in a long time, nor has it been straight in a long time. Actually, to the point where I actually dislike if my hair is flat or like straight. Like, I think I look better with my little curls out. My little baby hairs that get all ringwoody and stuff. And I also stopped brushing my hair, well, mainly because, you know, curly hair, I don't really need to. It's like detangle and shower vibes, but also because of all the hair loss that I experienced last year, brushing it would just be like more hair loss, you know? No, this is like a decent amount, yeah, but it probably looks like more than it is because my hair is so long. Also, don't go tell me about hair loss shit in the comments. It was literally from my health. Literally diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder. Literally my body was not okay. And like hairs that were like this short were falling out by the root. So like, mm, no, there's no hair serum or whatever you're gonna try to tell me that would have helped. My body was simply not okay. It's like telling someone who's going through postpartum hair loss that, oh, just use this. Like, no, their hair is gonna fall out and their hair's gonna grow back. So that's all you can do. 
anyway, <laughs> getting it done for the other side. And I just washed it last night, so this straightening is going to last, well, it should be semi-straight, <laughs> unless I get it wet, <laughs> until my next hair wash. We'll see if that happens, because I love being outside. I live in a humid area. My hair is not gonna necessarily stay straight, especially my baby hairs. We shall see. And I probably won't want it straight for more than that many days, honestly, because I don't like my hair straight. <laughs> when I started embracing my curly, frizzy hair and the I have the baby hairs, I purposely put more water in them to make them full ringlets. And I started doing that in the last few years, and I just like, I love it. I love my curly hair so much now. I hated it growing up. I would brush it like this, but after the shower. And so it would like stretch out the curl pattern a lot and make it more kind of wavy. I also was using like normal shampoo then, like herbal essences or whatever. So it would weigh down my hair a lot and it made it look basically straight slash wavy. I tried to put in a picture and that was just because of how I treated it and how my hair is so prone to gravity interesting like to see like all the different phases of my hair this is so funny this is so crazy and also with the whole like smaller ends thing everyone's hair is like that at different lengths too like i saw a picture of me a couple years after i was growing out my pixie cut and i had my hair in like two little french braids and like the ends of the braids are gonna be not as thick as up here right and my hair was only like this long so like your ends are always gonna be smaller than the main thickness of your hair i don't know why People are so like, oh my god, there's small ends, like, like the tapering off is, makes sense, like, I don't know, like, yeah, people are so scared of just having existing naturally, um, but what do I know? Okay, folks, more hair. Yeah, this is a lot more hair than I usually would get out in the shower with my fingers, but we're not gonna do this very often, so. Also, unbrush. Send me a brush so I can use it in the shower. I would not be opposed if you're good things. Why is this so zoomed in? Though? Is it actually that zoomed in? You're kidding. The whole clip is so zoomed in. I'm so sorry. Well, can't be filming now. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, anyway. And see like the tops are kind of straight now because i brushed it out and it's heavy i just i just prefer my hair curly i don't know i don't really like it straight anymore <laughs> okay i think i'm gonna braid this so it doesn't get retangled maybe just a rope braid i'm literally sweating it's so nice and like put together poofy ends but rope braids don't usually stay like this for very long though they get frizzy really easily Hey, we've got it up in a bun. I'm gonna drive to my friend's house now because she's gonna help me straighten it. Okay. Oh, is it already recording? It yeah. is. <laughs> okay.